Welcome into the Kathy Raley Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Kathy Raley, head coach of the women's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys open up conference play hosting Messiah. Was it an advantage or a disadvantage starting out with Messiah? Uh, we, I, I thought it would be an advantage for us to play them now, um, hoping that our tough schedule leading up to our opening conference game would give us a leg up. The issue is that Messiah also plays a tough schedule. Uh, you know, they're packed full of seniors and upperclassmen, and I think that our freshmen weren't c- just quite ready yet to come up with the win on that. It's, in a way, it can be an advantage, too, because they're going to underestimate us in April. Mm-hmm. You guys did hold the lead, I mean, at one point, and sure. there is just playing Messiah that they're going to do what Messiah does. Sure. But what is it, the things that you guys need to work on to be able to hold that lead as you play more conference opponents? Two things, I think. The first thing is 50-50 balls. Um, when we dropped a ball, Messiah picked it up. When Messiah dropped a ball, Messiah picked it up. You can't have those numbers like that. You have to win the 50-50 contests all over the field. We weren't doing a good job of that. We were really tentative on ground balls. Messiah is fast. We're going to have to be faster come come conference uh, tournament play. The second thing is the clear. We tried something a little bit different in the clear, and, and I don't think it worked as well as what we're naturally good at. Um, so I think we'll make some tweaks there, and I think that will help. We played a brand-new defense that we have not played prior to two days, two or three days before we saw Messiah. And I thought we did a good job holding them. Um, We got scored on in a transition a little bit, which we're going to have to tweak as well. One impactful player that you had on the field on Saturday, Mac Ferguson with 16 saves. How big has she been for your guys' uh, teams this far? Well, you know, she's not playing like a freshman anymore, and that's that's the biggest thing. Um, she, her consistency has gotten better game after game. She would kind of fade in and out in those early games of when she was paying attention and when she's not. Now she's into it, and, mm-hmm. and I think her success leading up to this point has made her really focus in. She wants to be an All-American. We've had this discussion. We've talked about what she needs to do to be an All-American, and she has the tools. Mm-hmm. If she puts the work in, I think we're going to see amazing things out of her in the years to come I would argue that she was done playing as a freshman after five <laughs> minutes in the Gettysburg yeah. game she came up with some pretty big <laughs> saves there against she a did. strong team she there. did um, now as you guys move this week into playing two conference opponents one mm-hmm. away and then you guys host uh, Arcadia on Saturday what, how important is it going to be to get back onto you know the winning ways this sure. week? Well, I think this is important. We're going to have to run the table now. We the loss to Montclair, the loss to Skidmore, uh, those are losses that are going to keep us out of the tournament unless we win the conference. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can handle a loss to Gettysburg. We can handle a loss to Salisbury. We cannot handle the loss to those those schools that are mid range like we are. So. Our only shot at going to the tournament now is to win the conference. So as we head through conference play, we want to set ourselves up in the best position to hopefully see Messiah in the championship. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to count my chickens before they're hatched, but uh, if we do things the right way and take everybody very seriously, be very disciplined game after game, I think we've got a really good shot at, at doing that. You know, we had practice this morning in the pouring down rain, as you can see from my still (laughs) soaking wet hair. And we had an awesome practice after being kind of lit up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, to come in at 5 o'clock on a Sunday morning, I mean on Monday morning, and to practice like we did today, we have the goods to get it done. You know, it leads to some optimism, and you yes. know it has been done, and it can be done again, yes. and you guys have a distinct possibility of winning out. I, I hope so, and, and the girls are willing to work for it, so yeah. I'm going to do my part and see if I can't get them prepared enough. Yeah, the the girls' willingness yes. is what's going to get it done. Sure and does. They're, it's a great group of girls. It really is. I'm having more fun coaching this year than I've had in the last couple of years. Of these, this, the, the, the energy is just exactly what a coach wants it to be. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week, and thank you for your time, and good luck in achieving those goals. Thanks. She's Kathy Raley. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.